What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video, I kind of just want to run through search network with display settings and why you should never have both those checked if you're just trying to run a search campaign. Okay, so if you go into your AdWords account here, you're going to go into settings. So go down to settings, and you'll see up here under networks, they have Google Search Network, which is search partners. This is basically just... Um, you can see here, Google search partners are, it's a collection of sites, of search sites that people can search on. Like, uh, remember Ask Jeeves and like all those crazy ones? Um, there's a, there's a ton of them. And, um, basically they're partners with Google so they can, you can show your, your pay per click ads will show in those small search engines when people search on them. All right. So search partners is definitely something that you should be using. Um, test it though. I mean, sometimes, I, I mean, I have 90% of my campaigns I have search network on. There's 10% though where I found that it drives really shitty traffic and it doesn't convert. And if you want to find out how that does, you can come over into your ad groups, go up to columns, or no, I'm sorry, we need to go to segment. Segment, and we'll go by network. And you can see here, here's Google search, 17 leads, search partners, one lead. And search partners is costing $95 a lead, Google search is 41. So you can see here, search partners produce nothing, no clicks, 11 clicks versus 53 clicks on Google. So you can kind of use this to base on whether you want to keep it or not. Like I just keep it because it's it brings in a little bit of extra volume and the price is not too outrageous. So I, with the average when it blends all out, it, it works for me. So that's why I'll keep that. So that's how you want to uh, take a look at your account. You can see if search is doing well for you or if it's killing you. And if it's killing you, obviously just uncheck the box and turn it off. All right, so basically every campaign comes standard with search network um, partners on. And usually when you create a new campaign, it will check display network. Now this is what you want to stay away from. All right, especially if you're trying to run a search campaign, if you're a lead gen, if you're trying to generate leads for a client or for yourself or for your business, this is something you definitely want to stay away from because it's going to show your ads, your text ads on Google's display network, which is like millions of websites and they're not very targeted to what you're going to do. I mean, if you come over here, it's going to tell you exactly what it is, but Google Display Network is a collection of 2 million sites. When you choose this option, your campaign will also run on the Display Network with no additional setup. Your ads will appear only when they're predicted to be effective. All right, so that's super vague. Every time I've seen someone run a search campaign with Display Network on, it's failed horribly. You just get a ton of clicks and no conversions. So the, the moral of the story today is, guys, if you're running a lead generation campaign, you're a, for a, you know, if you're a plumber, if you're HVAC, if you're a limo guy, if you're a pest control, if you're um, a lawyer, anything lead generation style where you're trying to get contact form submissions or phone calls, I would highly recommend you stay away from Display Network. All right, search partners is okay, but just remember, like I said, every 30 days, just pop in, segment your ad groups, and just check to see if search partners is doing well for you or if it's crushing you. They're sending you a bunch of clicks and no leads or, you know, one to two leads and you spent, you know, $500 and obviously it's dragging down your entire campaign. You want to turn it off. So it's just something to keep in mind. All right. Hopefully this video has helped. Now, don't forget to go subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description. I dropped uh, something special for you guys. One of my new video trainings. It's a three-part series called Google Ads Optimization Combat Tactics where I go through all these um, different Google Ads optimization tactics that we use to um, get our clients more leads and keep their campaign streamlined. All right, guys, catch you later.